So, so the smaller uh, in, invoice from Willatus um, is dated November 6th, and it is a reference to the bond rating. And the charges start on June 1st, 2007, and there are several dates uh, in June, um, several dates in July, several dates in August, obviously, and September. And so the last date I see is September 20th. I find it strange that we get this invoice dated November 6th uh, for the bond rating for a total of $18,000. Now, that's not a reflection on you. Okay, I'm I, just saying I for the record, yeah. it's strange. Nonetheless, it is a reflection of, of, of inefficient uh, management of the finances of this town because $61,000 worth of bills floating out there has to be known by someone that that charge against things that are happening in this town exists. So, somewhere along the line that money was spent so and people, was, in this, people on enough. this board or people on the department heads know that and I think there's a huge inefficiency in the financial management of monies in this town. We've had over $500,000 in amendments. This 61000 is just the tip of the iceberg here. Um, I'm, later on we have discussion of the upcoming budget. I'm going to ask Mr. Morgan to explain maybe how is the 61000 going to affect our 15%. You can think about this, I'll ask you later. Fund reserves. Our 15% fund reserves that we're required to have in light of how much taxes that we will in the future or we will have to raise and what has been published and what is in the paper. This stuff just keeps rolling. You know, we just keep spending money here and we don't have the money for it. And we're dipping in the reserves and that affects from one year to the next year. And it's not good financial management. And we have got to start holding the line on what money's budgeted and what money is spent. And each department head and the town board and the leaders of this town had better start paying attention because that's what we're elected for. The taxpayers elected us to watch their money. It's their money, it's not our money. We aren't the town. Mr. Dzinski's not the town. The Lotus Law Firm or the U Department heads aren't the town. Those taxpayers are the town, and we have to start watching this money a little bit better. I'm off my soapbox now. <laughs> I just wanted to point out that the second invoice is also from Willatus. It's also dated um, November 6th. And it begins, and it's for professional services related to economic development. Um, and this one was for $38,625.60. And again, the charges begin on uh, June 15th and extend for several pages through Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> Through um, October 29th, 2007. I just find it very hard to believe that these charges from June, July, and August could not have been invoiced before November 6th. So I would like six, to. Six months almost, five months worth of charges uh, accruing and not being brought. Into, into the accounting so that we're hit with this stuff all the, at the last minute. 